Hey everybody, it's Deanna. I'm back to show you something that I created with this Recollections cardstock paper, Fashionably Chic. I just think that these papers are so coordinated and they look so beautiful together in any type of project that you can use the thinner paper on. I'm sure everybody's seen most of it, but I mean, you can just see these designs and the coordination that comes with the papers. I just love the flowers and the line designs and the little, everything that they do with it is just beautiful. I used the mauves here like that and the grays together because I just love mauve and gray together. The greens are very vibrant. It's, it's beautiful. So here's the album that I made. It's five and a half by seven. It's car. Uh, I used repurposed cardboard for the cover and the backing. It's ring bind. I should say ring bound. I used uh, envelopes to make the pages. I don't have a title yet, but here is a small note that can be written from me giving it to the person. Here's the tags that I used for the corner piece here. My handmade little flowers. I love these punches so much. I use them all the time. Let's see if I have it here. It's right in back. It's these. I have the larger and the smaller from Fiskars. I think they're just wonderful and easy to use. But and I also have some ribbon roses and then flower, not flower, a butterfly punch that does three different punches. I love layering those. So that's the cover. On the inside, I'm leaving it kind of plain. It's not a person that does paper crafting, and I want to make sure that they can understand what it is that it, you do with it. Just put the pictures down. And here's another page, and I have one of those paper clips, clips paper clips that you'll see. Cynthia, book, the bookworm one, she um, does a great job on these. And then Irina, uh, Crafty Irina started making these too. And she, she did the sideways first. And I just love these. They're easy to use. And you don't have to buy things like that. You can make them. I put two tags in here so that people, people, the person can put notes about the pictures on the pages. And then I added another butterfly. And inside the envelope, of course, is a photo mat and you can see how these grays and moths they just look beautiful together on the next page it's the mauve papers and on this side i have one of the recollections flowers from the what used to be the dollar bin by us now it's dollar fifty with another butterfly that i punched out an extra little photo mat or something to write on and then the picture, of course, slides right underneath. And this is on the inside. As you can see, all these papers just look so pretty together. And then we have the next page. I think we'll open space for the picture. And another small corner thing that I put together with a two-tone butterfly, a little pink flower from Michael's button from my collection. And here's another butterfly that's on a small tag. And there's another tag behind it so you can write down information about or notes for journaling on the pictures. And then inside is another tag to match all these other ones that are coming out. I mean, everything looks so put together well. And I love using punched out tags for corners and things. Making your own embellishments is so fun. And I love watching how Irina and, and Cynthia from Bookworm One, they just really know what they're doing and they're great to watch. And here's another little paper clip holding two more little tags that I punched out that matches the paper. And this is a paper, all these tags, they're punched out from a uh, Darice pack from Joanne's uh, from about a year or so ago. Uh, they had big tables filled with multicolor uh, browns and blacks. There are three different packs. I had bought one of each pack and I'm so glad I did because there's such a thick card stock for tags. Inside we have another 
matching tag. I mean, look at all of these. They're just beautiful. And the next page, I have another one of my flowers that I made with the paper, a butterfly. And what I like to do on these flowers is use the pearls instead of a flat bat pearl because these are so, there's a lot of dimension to this flower. It really pops up off of a page. And the pearl just makes it look even more dimensional on the page, and I love that. Another tag punched out of the Doris paper. Another little photo mat. And I'm sorry about the wiggliness of the <laughs> camera because I am taping on my phone and it's the only way I can do it right now until I get a computer in my room. Um, I used the oval punch for this corner here. There's another photo mat. And you can just see how well they all go together. And in the end, there's just two more pages. You see how nice and thick using... Um, corrugated cardboard and it's so sturdy once you glue everything down on it well everyone thank you so much for watching and Irina I really want to thank you for talking with me about making videos and being on YouTube and you'll be seeing more of me and I, I just appreciate everything that you've done so thank you and I will talk to you soon bye everyone